Okay, I want to do a quick uh, video about essential oils. I have been using them now for a little over a year. And um, I signed up with Young Living, I think in around late October, early November 2015. And uh, somebody where I work was selling uh, Young Living and using it. So that's, uh, and they were kind enough to give me a sample to use on my hair. Uh, where I had a bald spot, and I decided, you know, since I was trying to do natural stuff at the time, and still, still am, uh, to try uh, to uh, use Young Living, and uh, so that's why I signed up, and uh, I never did s sign up anybody under me, but that's how Young Living works, is you're supposed to sign up people under you, and get them to sign people up under them and you get a cut of what they sell but a lot happened to me after I signed up last year so I, I never did pursue signing anybody up and that's not what this video is about this video is about how essential oils have helped me uh, I will put my Young Living link in this video but I will say that there are other cheaper alternatives, but just always make sure you get good, you know, quality oils when you get them. And a little goes a long way with essential oils. But like this little book I got with my Young Living kit, <coughs> it tells like 100 plus uses of essential oils. Now I used it for hair loss, uh, mood, pain, and itchy skin. That's, you know, I used it for more than that, but that's some of the top things I used it for. I will say I did have success with the hair loss. Uh, you know, who's to say whether the oil or my diet change and, you know, or other things, you know, or maybe it just would have come back on its own. But I will say that I really think the oils help my hair come back. Um, I use uh, some uh, oils like lavender, peppermint, uh, almost every day. Um, currently, I'm using those two uh, in my bath water because I've been dealing with a lot of itchy skin this winter. Uh, so I've been taking a detox bath, and I've been adding those oils to my bath water. And, um, I'm, you know, I think it helps. I am... Most nights, been able to sleep better, uh, but you know, time will tell. I'm hoping my itchy skin will improve. Uh, it is better than it was. Uh, now, peppermint is a oil I like to use uh, for pain. Uh, now they do make blends for pain, like Panway. Um, and um, this little guide just, you know, it will list, you know, some of the oils and their uses. Uh, Thieves is another popular Young Living blend. Uh, Stress Away, that's a good one. Uh, Purification is another good one. Um, and I, I kind of accidentally stumbled upon uh, the oils that helped me for my mood by, uh, you know, I'd have to look back. In my little booklet, which I don't have close by, that what I, I used to write down, like when I found something, I'd just handwrite it uh, instead of putting it on the computer. And I was probably looking up something for allergies. I'm not sure what it was, but it wasn't for mood, I don't think. Although my mood was you know, sad because of my mother who had dementia. But this blend, I don't know, it just seemed like I noticed I wasn't crying as much as, as, I, as I was after I would take her back on the, to the assisted living. That's always, was always hard for me to do when I did start bringing her out at the, near the end of 2015, which I'm grateful I did that. Um, but it's hard taking back in line to them when they had dementia. So that was another application I used the oils for. And that was just sort of an accident. So I just had a little special blend that I put in my diffuser. And it just seemed like when I did that, I wasn't crying uh, as much. And I, I'm a, I didn't take 
antidepressants. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I don't have a problem if you need it. Take them. I just try not to take them. Although I have been prescribed them uh, in the past when I asked for something for um, stress. Yeah, they gave me an antidepressant, but I didn't take it. Um, but and I know people need them. And I'm not saying stop any of your medicines. I'm not a doctor. This video is just about um, essential oils and how they've helped me. Uh, there, uh, there is like little bottles you can buy. It's best to put them in dark bottles. I apologize for the light. I'm trying to keep my head in the way, <laughs> blocking it. But I just have a little rolly ball so you can blend up what you need. And usually use a carrier oil, especially, uh, you know, if you don't know how the full strength will work on you. Uh, this actually was where I, I used on my head for my uh, bald problem. That thankfully is better. But that was a special blend. A uh, lady where I work. Uh, told me what to use, and I also Google, you know, Googled it. Uh, so I, I am actually going to mix some more up because it's a good uh, mixture to for your scalp and your hair. Um, then you can also get, and this is how I mix it up now in a little spray bottle. So you can get little spray bottles, and um, if anybody you know is interested, I I found a good company. You can get oils from them. I have, I just haven't used them yet, and you can get supplies like that uh, from Bulk Apothecary. So they seem to have really good prices, and they do have some organic oils. But your oils, you know, they come in bottles like that. Young Living is, uh, there's seem to be pretty good uh, bottles. Some I have gotten, this will drip out slowly. Some I've gotten, looks like it drips slowly, but it comes out fast. So with your oils, usually it's so many drops. And if you look up what I call recipes for different ailments that you're looking to cure or help with. Uh, so um, usually you'll drop like, three drops of this or four drops of that or, and mix it up and you always shake the bottle uh, to mix everything up, especially when you put your carrier oil in. Now, I do uh, sometimes just use full strength like when I was using the mixture for my hair. Uh, I used it full strength. Now, now when I mix it in a little spray bottle, I put a little carrier oil in it. Um, I don't have as bad as problem. I was real. Uh, I had a really serious bald spot, and I will will uh, try to insert a picture right here that shows that. The bald spot, um, you know was pretty bad when I started using the oils in November, but it just seemed like in um, in a month that uh, I had hair growing. It's hard for me to tell because uh, I didn't have anybody living with me to say take pictures. You know, I try to take my own pictures of it. I didn't have a selfie stick, um, so. And I was trying not to get my face in the picture, so I uh, I would try to tell from the picture, but it, it was hard to tell, and I really couldn't tell from looking in the mirror until eventually I really, really seemed positive that it was growing, so I asked somebody at work what they thought. I have a lot of hair, uh, so it was kind of easy to hide the bald spot, and... Uh, so I, I was very, very uh, pleased that, uh, like I said, it was about a month. It looked like my hair was growing back. And I'll uh, put a picture 
I'll try to put a picture of that right here. But if anybody wants to know more about the hair loss and what I did for it with essential oils, just, just email me or comment below and I'll be happy to share um, with you what I used, the oils I used. And uh, I mean, you can look up on Pinterest and stuff and find it, but you know, I, I hand wrote mine down and that's the one I use. I found it probably on Pinterest. There's all kinds of recipes uh, for the different for I don't know probably anything you can think of you can find essential oils and fill in the blank on Pinterest or just google it uh, but the little booklet that I got with Young Living did have like a little index of problems and told you the page number to go to but like I said you can do look on Pinterest too um, yeah, supposedly, you know, there's things for, uh, sleep, snoring, I think, um, Valor was a popular little blend, uh, I don't know that I have much of that or any left, but that one was hard, some of them at times with Young Living were very hard to get, to get, uh, they would be backordered, or out of stock, not backordered, but. Uh, and some of them don't smell good, and some of them, you know, smell good. It's just, but they come, this is the stress away. That's a little five milliliter bottle. And uh, let me find the bigger bottle. This is Thieves. That's a real popular blend. Uh, that's the uh, 15 milliliter bottle. That's a half, or a half ounce. And these are 100% pure therapeutic grade. Supposedly, when I started, you could just, these are, now, some of them you're not supposed to consume, no matter if they're pure therapeutic or not. Thieves is one that you could consume, uh, but uh, some of them you don't consume. So you have to be careful with ingesting them. Most of the time, it's, you rub it on you, and actually, let's see, there's a picture of, uh, like, your feet and areas to rub different, uh, to rub to cure different things. Um, I know some of the things will say rub on the bottom of your feet or your big toe or sometimes your earlobe um, uh, so it just depends on the application now you can also mix it up with uh, like coconut oil and that's what this is this is one I think I made for pain I always label yours I don't always but I, I try to now and this one I believe was for pain it's got a little lavender in it and uh, I think I made that when uh, I was having some pain in my foot last year and that might have been after I fell I did fall I'll tell you uh, try not to keep this too long but I fell my dog my oldest dog was very sick he was dying and um uh, Anyway, the vet said, give him whatever he wants because he didn't have much time left. So I gave him chicken bones. So I wanted to block my other dogs out from, um, you know, where he was at. So I put this big glass thing up, uh, <laughs> blocking my bedroom door, and, yeah, I fell over it. Uh, it was very stressful. My mom had only been dead like a month at the time. And now my dog was dying. So, anyway, I had mixed this up because my foot was hurting after the fall. And I was putting it on my foot. Well, I started putting it on my back because it was a little sore, too, after the fall. So, I just, you know, I kept doing that for like a week. 
And uh, well, I stopped. I said, well, you know, it's been a week. So, And then my back was hurting. And I was like, why is my back hurting? Then I remembered I failed. <laughs> so that was, you know, I think that was a pretty good formula because, like, it did seem to, it took the pain away. I forgot I'd fallen uh, until I re my back was hurt, and then I had to think a minute. And I was like, "Why is it just now hurting?" So that was that was another you know successful pain use for me, and that was was coconut oil and some essential oils, and um, so then uh, the mood I mentioned that earlier. That was you know I was real pleased with that, and that's the main things I've used oils for. And like I say, you can. You know, like this, I put in a little glass jar. The glass is better because oils can, you know, you want to specially use glass if you're not using something like with coconut oil or some type of carrier oil because they will eat through plastic. They're very strong, so be careful in using oils. And be careful where you buy them. Buckle pocket fairy, and I ain't making money from them. Uh... I actually sell for Young Living, so I don't really sell for them. I buy a lot of Young Living oils, but Buckle Pocket Theory is a good place to get like plastic bottles and um, but roll roller bottles. I'm not sure about. I've got some of those off Amazon. I got some from uh, I think it was like another place, God Oil or something like that. But if anybody wants to know about anything I've discussed or wants to know more about any of the essential oils, just feel free to email, email me or comment below. And please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.